Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. And right about now, we're in the kitchen. And with me here is Chef Sammy, who seems quite busy. He's like, he doesn't even have my time. He's just yeah. doing what he's doing. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How's the weekend coming along? Fantastic. Thank Amazing. You. Oh, I'm doing awesome. Thank you. So we have a whole lot of things out here right now. Let me first start by asking you, what are we making today? We are making Thai pineapple fried rice. It's a very simple gourmet dish. Okay. Thai pineapple fried rice rice okay so now what do we need to make this dish come to life all right those are the recipes of the dish okay. here i have my i have the sesame oil okay sesame oil the, i think sesame oil boosts the dental health no oh, okay and, and also promotes health health no oh, and here i have my chicken okay which that's chicken breast yeah yeah chicken okay. breast mm -hmm. is the it's a good source of protein, useful in controlling BP. Okay. Amazing. And uh, secondly, thirdly, I have my pineapple, okay. which boosts the bone health okay. and also boosts the immune health. Okay, right. amazing. Mm -hmm. Then I have my bell peppers, which give my trio bell peppers. This is yellow, red, and, and green, green mm -hmm. which reduce bad cholesterol and also helps in controlling diabetics. Okay, amazing. And here I have my garlic and my ginger. I have my garlic, which kill food athletes, no. like such as breakage finger, oh. and also repair respiratory problem. Oh, okay. And while I have a ginger, like we all know, this fight against cold and flu, okay, and yes. also reduces toothache. Oh, nice. And I have my onions here, which enhance the brain and the eye health. All right. Then thirdly, I have my cashew nut. I have my cashew nut here, mm -hmm. which is the last which is the last, the, which is the last dash on the dish to, to give the crunchiness okay. and to boost the flavor. That is also going into the rice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Yes. What do we... And I have my cashew nut here, which boosts the bone and also boosts the immune system. Yeah, okay. And I have the sesame oil, which reduces hypertension. Sesame seeds. Sesame seed, which reduces hypertension. All right. And also work for the heart. Okay. And here I have my soya sauce. Like we all know, this is. This came from a fermented soya bean, mm. and soya bean is protein us. Oh, so amazing! We have our we have our, our rice. We have now. our rice here, which we all know rich in fiber. It's and, rich in fiber. Yeah, and good for diabetes people. Good for oh, amazing. So this is we have this. And we have the spring, spring onion here. Onions. Wow, I love spring onion so much. Mm -hmm. It works for nasal congestion and also great for the eyes. All right. And we have the fresh basil here, which fight against virus and also reduces stresses. <laughs> Okay, our chef is ready for you today. You will eat healthy and you, you must be healthy by fire by force. Okay, so now tell me, what's the preparatory process for this particular dish? Um, it's a very simple process. Yeah. Firstly, I have to come with, my, with the sesame oil. Yeah. Secondly, I have to come with the chicken. Okay. Because mm -hmm. my chicken must cook, but not dry, it must be juicy because you never serve raw chicken to avoid salmonella disease. Okay. Yes, your chicken must not be well done. In the, there is no cooking chicken well done. Mm -hmm. Your chicken must be cooked, but juicy. But juicy, yeah. okay, not dried up. Not okay. dried up. Yeah. So after we do that, we do... Then, uh, then, I, can, then after I give a little toast, then I can with the onion because I will not allow the onion to burn. Once your onion and garlic is burned, the food will take a burnt smell. Okay. That's yeah, because you need, you need to keep the flavor fresh. Flavor fresh. Okay, yeah. amazing. So when I come with the onion, I char, I char, I char for a little bit and flambe for a little, a little time. Mm -hmm. Then I come with the garlic and the ginger. Okay. While I toast a bit, a bit, a bit, then I come with the pineapple to take a golden color. Okay. Then from there I come with the bell pepper to take it tender because mm. it starts to cook. Okay. Yes. Then, then from there, while I dash my rice, and I dash the cereal sauce, okay. dash some the few ingredients here, then I toasted this at the last moment and do some artwork and some gourmet cooking. Some artwork and some gourmet cooking. Yeah. I mean, of course, Chef Sammy is fully prepared to take you guys away, and uh, we definitely are um, ready for this dish right now. So we're going to allow Chef Sammy do all he needs to do while we have Titi on the couch, who has a performance standing by. Welcome back. We're still here. We're still making uh, Thai pineapple fried rice with Chef Sammy. And um, something I like about this guy, he's so focused. Like, he's doing his thing. Can you see everywhere is arranged? He's cleaning yeah, up. Yeah. He's setting up. Like, the guy yeah, is yeah, yeah. He's on a... There's no good food without hygiene. There's yeah. no good food. Without and the steady health tips. Yeah. I can't get enough of that. Okay, so now you actually said we have to make sure the rice was cooked Yes. before we start. Now, yeah, can you tell me why you're being so specific? Uh, the rice must be tender. Yes, okay. because it must be tender. If the rice is not tender, mm -hmm. you don't have the flavor of the recipes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Nice. Okay, so now that, that the rice is getting tender, what mm -hmm. do we have to do next? So now I have to 
bring I have to execute everything together, then last minute I dash the rice and do some at work. All right, so where we starting just from? Very, just very simple. Just very simple. Yeah, yeah let's start. So here, my, here I have my sesame oil. Okay. Yeah. I have two teaspoons of sesame oil. Okay. I add more okay. to cook the chicken for me. Okay. Here I start with the chicken. Mm -hmm. Did you marinate that at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what did we have yeah. on it? Marinated with just salt and salt and seasoning cube. Seasoning cube, like okay. chicken stock. Okay, chicken yeah, stock. Chicken stock. Professional, I call it chicken stock. Chicken stock. Okay, nice. So, Mm -hmm. I give I give my chicken a little bit time to cook. Yeah, you know you're specific of how you you want to retain the juice, yeah, the juice in the it. Juice, yeah. You don't want it dry. Yeah, so how many minutes or seconds do we need to leave it on there to get that desired approximately, effect? Approximately five minutes. The chicken will cook. Five minutes. Yeah, not to dry, but juicy. But juicy, yeah. okay. Because some people have the opinion that you have to boil your chicken first before uh, you fry yeah, it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Boiled chicken is good for for those that are on diet. Okay. Yes. Mm. Avoid fat and other cholesterol. Okay, but sesame oil is healthy um, very, very, oil, right? Very, very healthy. So, very, yeah, very so healthy. we could do like that. I said earlier, yeah. Yes. It boosts dental health. It yeah. boosts dental, dental health. health. And Amazing. It gives you shiny hair. Shiny hair. Yeah, 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 yeah nice. So, be drinking sesame oil. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to stir fry that yeah. in the pan. So, have so to you see. Okay, so you want that on low yeah, heat? Yeah, we don't want it. Yeah, yeah, okay. To cook. Mm. You need to make the chicken cook. Yeah, mm. your chicken must cook. You it avoid must... salmonella disease. Okay. Yeah, because it kills faster than it HIV. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting facts. I mean, when you have it all here, you have the food, you have the tips, you have the health, health uh, talk, yeah. you have everything you need here. So, is yeah. our rice ready? Yeah. Three minutes more. Should be Three ready. minutes more yeah. and should be ready. So now tell me, Samuel, when did you start cooking and why? Wow. Actually, I started the year 2005. Okay. Yeah. This is what I love doing so much. Why? What happened? Yeah. What led you to that point where mm. you decided, you know what, this is what I want I to do? I love cooking. I love cooking. I love passion. I love cooking because cooking is fun. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So why I'm giving the chicken a texture, a good texture. Juicy but not dry. Yeah. I'm still looking up to the onions because I don't want the onion to take a bun smell. Okay. Oh, okay. So at this stage now, I can come with the onion. With the onion not in. more than three grams. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes you cook for a dietitian mm -hmm. and you have to consult the nutritionist. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you cook on grammage. We cook on grammage. Yeah, and, the, and the nutritionist, the nutritionist have to give you a kilocalorie for a certain dish. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Interesting. So if we cook more than three grams of onions, what happens? Uh, it, depends on, it depends on the condition of your health. Okay. Maybe you want, you want to I work. thought onion was good, so the more, it's the better. It's good, no, but no, it's a, you can't eat it much. Excellent. Yeah, 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 you have okay. to work, you cook on gram. Because I have a friend that literally used to pack food Yeah, and stuff. you cook on gram, but it's very good for the eyes. Very and good also for, work the for the brain. For the brain. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, okay. Make sure it's sharper, sharper, sharper. Sharp, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we have yeah. our onion in there. And in the chicken. Yes, you, you don't that, want it brown. Yeah, I don't yeah. want it brown. Mm -hmm. Just for the onion to transcolent and take the flavor of the kitchen. Of the kitchen, wow. Yeah. Nice, okay. You see? Trasculent. That's a yeah, very new, see. interesting word. You see the onions and the chicken? They are together. They are together. They are coming in together. Chicken is taking the juiciness while the onion is coming golden. Yes. Yeah. It's coming golden. If I okay. start with the onion initially, by now the onion will take the a brown while very the chicken true. is still rolling inside. Oh, uh, and that's how we always do it. We put the onions no, first. No, 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 no. It's a chicking. cooking it's a technique. The it's a technique. Cooking, it's a cooking technique. Mm. Yeah, you have to know cooking technique. Word. I'm busy and step in cooking. Okay. Yeah. So, what of the. When do we have the garlic and ginger? Yeah, that is when I'm. 100% sure that my chicken is not raw from inside. It's not raw from So but, how can we be sure the chicken is not raw from inside? Of course, inside? when I take a press like this, mm -hmm. if it's raw from inside, it's too raw. But if it's juicy, it has to drop. This is the joy of chicken. It has to oh, drop. Oh, it has wow. to drop. Wow. Yeah, that is the joy so is it cooked now? Two minutes to be cooked. Two minutes to yeah. be cooked. Wow. Like, cooking is definitely an art. So why we don't allow the chicken to overcook as well? Yes. It comes with the vegetables. Mm. Yeah, because you need to extract some water from the vegetable to take a tender texture. Take a tender texture. Yeah. So now with that vegetable you have pineapple and the red bell and the, the peppers. And, and the trio bell and the, the trio bell peppers, yeah. Mm. Trio bell peppers because they are two mm. they are trio. Yes. It's two, it's duo. Yes. If it is two you are using two bell pepper, it's mm -hmm. called duo. It's okay. Duo. 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 That is D-U-O. Yes. But when you work working with three bell pepper, it's called trio bell pepper. Trio bell pepper. Yeah. Amazing. That is culinary terms. Okay, amazing. So, Chef Sam, we need to literally go on a quick break. And, of course, just keep on doing what you're doing. By the time we're back here, the food should actually be ready. You heard it here. So keep watching. We'll be right back.
sure she's definitely looking forward to eating oh, this yes. one. Maybe. I am a foodie. Yeah, <laughs> you're a foodie. Better. No, it's not. No. It's pineapple. pineapple. It's a crown of the pi pineapple. So, I mean, Chef oh. Sammy here has put together this amazing meal, Thai pineapple fried rice. And we'd love for you to try it out and let us know exactly what you think about it. Yes, it so. looks delicious. It smells delicious. Now it's left for you to confirm if it tastes delicious. Thank right, you. Then. I feel so honored being the first one <laughs> to try it. So I'm going to take a piece of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what mm. do you think? Mm. Yum, yeah. Mm. Ah! Yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Well done. I really like the pineapple. All it right. brings the zinc to the rice. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Well okay. done, yeah. so Sammy So you see, and Casey is kitchen. Yes, so. Spotless. Spotless. It's really yeah. spotless. Actually, I said earlier, there's yeah. no good food without hygiene. Yeah. Oh. The chef with the rhymes, y'all. Yes, yeah, so no good food <laughs> without hygiene, people.